Hello, colleagues. Happy to be here today. Uh, the topic, the purpose of today's session is, is to share what, what Kyivstar, the biggest, largest Ukrainian telecom operator, uh, achieved uh, using internal competence in, in, in data and AI, uh, and how we can uh, how we uh, transform it to the sustainable business, providing uh, AI-related services to our business clients. A uh, few words about myself. Uh, my name is Andrzej Wiznak. I'm uh, director of Big Data Solutions in, in Kyivstar. Uh, I have uh, 20 plus years experience in, in highly complex uh, telco and IT projects, focusing on different areas, starting from CRM, customer value management, implementation of uh, analytics, data science, and, and product development. Uh, 15 years uh, was focused uh, exactly on analytics, on implementing uh, data warehouses, uh, analytical solutions, models, uh, and so on, with huge focus on AI. Uh, and uh, five years ago, uh, the big data business of Kyivstar were established. Uh, and from zero to, to 5% of the B2B operating revenue, so we reached for, for uh, during these five years. A few words about Kyivstar. Uh, Kyivstar is, is the largest uh, telecom provider, telecommunication digital provider in Ukraine. We are serving 25 million customers. Uh, we have 50% uh, customer base from, from B2B customers. So half of the market of B2B uh, rely on Kyivstar services. Uh, oh. We built the largest telecom infrastructure in Ukraine with uh, uh, base stations, channels, and, and so on. And uh, it would be important to mention that, uh, that we are part of the global group, uh, the own group, uh, which, is, which is operating in six uh, high-growing markets and also serving 160 million subscribers uh, in, in, the, in the regions where we present. Uh, when we're talking about data, uh, it's always important uh, to, to mention the data protection, the personal data protection, and compliance uh, and uh, Kyivstar uh, is strictly following uh, all existing laws of Ukraine about information, about personal data protection, and as well we are GDPR ready, uh, but GDPR is not implemented yet. But anyway, we are fully compliant and uh, protecting the personal data of the customers. Uh, all the models that we are developing using big data uh, built upon non-personalized data and of course, all these processes are encrypted, uh, and uh, no one can can access uh, data with which is personal. And of course, we are not uh, we does not hand over private personal information to any any third parties. Uh, key, uh, telco uh, operating the huge volumes of, of sources and huge variety of sources uh, of data sources uh, to build knowledge about. Uh, Customer behavior, devices behavior, network behavior. Uh, it's uh, it's data sessions uh, which are the, the the biggest, which is a huge uh, source of the data. Uh, it's uh, records about calls, count, duration, direction. It's uh, information from the contact center. Uh, what what are the claims of the customers? Or what they asking for? Uh, it's services usage. Uh, deep web data, deep packet inspection data on the level of, of, of sessions, uh, location events, uh, network configuration, uh, the fact of, of the messaging, uh, the social networks data that we can, can extract, top-ups where different channels, devices, and it's, it's just, uh, just the biggest ones. Uh, uh, we're using mostly first-party data, so the data generated by, by uh, Kyiv starts as, as a telco generated by its, uh, by its systems. Uh, to understand better what, what, what are the, let's say, scale, or what are the volumes, uh, we're operating uh, close to three petabytes of data uh, historically stored, and all these three petabytes of data are, are the source of building analytics, models, uh, and so on. The DNA increment, so the DNA new portion of data is, is close to three terabytes. And uh, we are not just storing storing data as, 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 as batches. We are pro processing it in, in real time uh, as events. And that's, uh, that's why we are uh, processing more than 3 billion events every day. 
uh, we're sorry, sorry, uh, the, when we're talking about the data, uh, we can process uh, data only those subscribers who are give us uh, concern to do that. And uh, as of now, it's it's uh, it's 33 million uh, customers. Uh, it's important to mention that uh, the Ukrainian telecom market uh, uh, has a huge difference from the mature European markets because we have uh, more than 95 percent uh, customers which are prepaid. Prepaid means uh, it's non personalized. You can just go to store and and, and buy buy uh, let's say SIM card and start using without leaving any any per personal data. That's why uh, it's, it's one of the factors why, why we can we can uh, use data to, to build knowledge because we don't know nothing when we discuss first making the first call on the first data session. And uh, by using this data, uh, we three years we developed a huge volume of behavior segments. Uh, it's, it's more than one hundred twenty segments for for the for the SIM cards, which we not, don't know anything uh, at the time of just call. It's a, it's, a, it's a huge amount of knowledge out of out of nothing, out of petabytes of, of data records. Uh, and uh, hundreds of models uh, were, were developed to, to deliver this, this this knowledge and running every day, every week, every month, depends on the, on the uh, let's see, requirements to these models. Uh, again, the, the the main purpose of today's meeting to uh, to show what what is a journey of telco like like Kiev started us uh, where we see, we started from uh, from using data to have up to date reporting uh, to have dashboards to um, to use data to uh, let's say uh, improve operation or efficiency to cut costs to increase sales and so on. Processes focused and products focused on own business, improving uh, all own services, own customer experience. Uh, we we found that the experience and results that we achieved, I will talk about this a bit later, uh, give us right uh, and uh, our, our our competences are enough to to build products, similar products for our B two B clients, or for the government helping helping other other businesses to grow their basis, to improve their efficiency, uh, to take right decisions based on data. Uh, and as, as a next step in, in, in this journey, now we uh, we found that uh, the request for for that analytics, or for reporting, for uh, machine learning AI capabilities uh, are, are huge in Ukraine, but it, it's uh, even bigger outside of Ukraine. So, and the next step of this journey is, is, is to utilize and to expand what we're doing in, in Ukraine, uh, outside, uh, to, to Europe and, and other market. Of course, we will not have such differentiator as, as a telco data, but the competences and solutions and, and experience uh, in place. And we, we believe that will be the huge differentiator, uh, on this next, next, uh, step. That we are we are doing right now. A few words about uh, internal use of data in AI. Yeah, it's it's not something uh, something new and unique. All the telcos doing that for the last uh, 10, 20 years. Uh, the four main areas of focus uh, that we have uh, is is customer value management. So where where we Helping our uh, segments B two C and and, and B two B to to serve customers to 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 sell uh, right products and in in in, in, in right time to um, to fight with churn uh, to cross sell to cross sell uh, new products to upsell customers to to more uh, more uh, let's say expensive things and we we really achieved a lot here. Uh, Kiev Star is is a world top three operators with lowest churn on, on prepaid markets. Even uh, it's not a mistake, it's a world top three. Uh, and we, we achieved 28% uh, 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 CV, uh, CVM efficiency uplift using mature models, uh, extracting online events uh, from the data is coming and, uh, uh, and uh, 
processed by, by our platform. Uh, it's also important to mention that, uh, that the usual uh, usual picture, uh, telcos buying uh, the the solutions from vendors that helping them uh, them to, to process to store data. Uh, we, we we choose a different way. Uh, we we created fully uh, end to end internal team, which uh, built uh, own data management solution based on open source stack so it's it's zero vendor uh zero outsourcing and so on is fully internal and uh, this experience uh, help us to achieve uh, significant results because of the flexibility that we've got uh, and uh, as well as significant operational efficiency because we, we are using open source uh, we're using internal resources uh, and uh, it's one of the uh, in our understanding, in the, one of the key drivers of success in this area. The next pillar is uh, uh, operational efficiency and, and network planning. So the the core business of telecom and the core costs and cost saving are in, in the area of building the network, maintaining the network, developing the network. And of course, we are utilizing the AI capabilities to do it in, in a smart way uh, to, to give machine and, and, and models uh, as a help tool to the network planners to prioritize which will, what we should build first in order to achieve better business case for for this particular uh, particular base station uh, that, that we are installing. What uh, base stations should we sort first uh, if we have some problems uh, operating uh, this, uh, the, the, this network now and so on. Um, and of course, one of the one of the important areas, the key area for us is is to uh, provide better customer experience uh, for our customers. So we we build uh, behavior driven, data driven contact policy. We we are trying, and I believe we we are doing that, uh, communicating with the customers in the right time, in, in the right place, in the right moment, with with a with a relevant communication. So in all of this. Uh, Utilizing the AI and data and knowledge that we we have uh, about our customers, and uh, last but not least, the smart sales. So AI is a huge tool to, to increase sales efficiency and, and using the AI-driven sales point potential planning, uh, we achieved uh, twenty plus uh, sales boost in our own retail and in partner retail that, that we are using. And in just a few examples and the top areas where the AI is used uh, in, in, in telco. AI reporting and data is in every piece of operations, uh, in every decision now that telco is uh, taking. And uh, uh, it's uh, it's enabler of success for, for telecoms and for any business, I believe, uh, to take decisions based on data. Uh, as you probably... Uh, know the, the new type of challenges uh, came came to Ukraine with with uh, full scale Russia invasion in in 2022. Uh, we have few huge uh, problem with with display subscribers, which uh, migrated uh, outside of the country. It's it's more than 2.5 million customers, and migrated internally. It's more than three three point five hundred million customers now. Uh, it's a, it's a huge problem of, of, for the government because it's uh, it's a dramatic change in customer mobility in in, in number of uh, in, in number of citizens in, in the regions and it big, it's a big task to prioritize the uh, the resources that that we have uh, to help <clears throat> to help these uh, people to survive uh, to to relocate to adopt and uh, we we develop the the huge uh, volume of analytics for, for the government helping helping take the right decisions helping prioritize resources uh, also we, we built a platform that combining data from all three major telco operators in, in, in one place uh, and, uh, and and serving serving need to the government in this in this challenging uh, times uh, and uh, it's a huge volume of resources that we uh, we allocate for this uh, because Kiev star is is uh, is helping helping Ukraine a lot. We are a responsible business, uh, and 
with the volume of services, the volume of analytics that we provided uh, provided to to the to the country, to the government authorities, uh, worth more than ten million euros, starting from uh, from from the work starts. Uh, let's switch to the to the uh, big data products portfolio. As I told before, uh, we after some success, huge success in using data internally, uh, we uh, mm -hmm. understand that we can bring this experience, this knowledge, these insights uh, to our B two B customers as, as, as services, and the the whole ecosystem of the services we were developed. Uh, it's a, it's a four main main blocks. Uh, it's ad tech, everything which which is uh, related to the marketing and and, and advertising. Uh, it's a telco open API. Yep. Everything related to the integration of the service of the telco services, the telco data services through API to to B two B clients processes. It's analytics, visualizing uh, data trends. Visualizing client portrait, uh, heat map, uh, showing where the target audience are, and so on. Um, and also uh, cloud solutions. Uh, it's a huge demand uh, now and uh, for, the, for the last years uh, to, to migrate traditional infrastructure into the cloud. So we built, uh, we built a, a team, a capability, uh, the partnerships that are giving us uh, uh, Right to be number one fast growing partner uh, for uh, for for cloud solutions uh, for Microsoft cloud solutions uh, in in Ukraine. Uh, let, let's go a bit deeper in, in details. So what what we're delivering as uh, marketing advertising uh, products to, to to the customers. So first of all, it's it's targeted communications. So for those uh, uh, SIM cards for those subscribers who who gave us concern to communicate with them. With with commercial um, uh, commercial proposals from the short parties, uh, we can use all our knowledge, all, all our knowledge about segments to create uh, to create communicational campaigns for our B two B clients to reach the existing customers, uh, split it into micro segments uh, using telco data, and to potential customers uh, using AI different AI techniques like look like modeling, like probability to buy modeling. And, and so on. <clears throat> uh, we can do it like like much approach, uh, uh, creating the segment and planning the communication, as well as real time uh, and event targeting. So when when we receive an event from the network or from one of the sources, we can trigger a communication to the, to the subscriber, which is uh, which is in the proper segment for, for our B two B client in any proper moment uh, through the proper channel. We're operating multi channels, so uh, starting from traditional uh, telco channels like SMS, Viber, and the growing channel uh, RCS from Google, um, as well as the digital channels. Uh, we can create segments in Facebook and, and, and Google Ads. Uh, also, one of the one of the growing ecosystems is to use uh, telco knowledge, telco data for the digital ad. We have a network of technical and marketing partners that can use. Uh, Use our segmentation to or to target uh, digital ad in in a different uh, applications. I mean, web, video, native app, uh, uh, applications, and so on. Uh, the majority of this this projects are custom, uh, and so for the smaller clients, we develop a digital uh, web based self service product called Advisor, uh, and they can do. The majority of all what, what we uh, what, what you can see in this in this block, well, on their own, so they just can uh, subscribe to, to the service, uh, upload own ways or uh, define the segment and start communication. So 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 easy. Uh, the similar situation in the customer analytics and and geo. So by using our knowledge, combining our knowledge and B2B client knowledge to show more in-depth portrait of the customer, uh, using uh, geo analytics to, to, to show where, uh, where the, let's say, target audience uh, in, in terms of geography, in what regions, in what, uh, what districts, and so on. It, it is helping, from one hand, to understand the customer better, from, from other hand, to take 
right decisions when you're scaling up your presence, your point of sales, uh, your stores, and and so on. Uh, as well as we helping businesses to understand better the traffic uh, of the potential customers of the of the people uh, over the stores. Uh, it, it also is a huge source of, of the data to take the right decision uh, for the retail development. Uh, the digital uh, app uh, also a, a huge att- attention. We, all we are let's say, preparing for the post cookie era, uh, the, the 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 cookies in, in in some number of years, it delayed from year to year. But in some point of time, it will happen. The cookies will be uh, will be cancelled, and the whole market of digital app will be rebuilt on, on a different uh, on a different uh, approach. How to verify that uh, advertising was was shown to the customer, and Telco can can have significant role here because we already have solutions for the post cookie post cookie era right now. Uh, the digital out of home, the digital. Uh, Let's say physical advertising on the boards uh, are the huge growing trend in in, in, in Ukraine and in, in, in other countries. And as well, we, we can we can use uh, understanding of the traffic coming uh, uh, near through through the digital app to, to improve uh, the uh, the adoption of this uh, advertising. Um, and uh, as for marketing, uh, it's it's a uh, as for marketing products, uh, the geo analytics as well. It's a kind of uh, complex. Complex solutions, custom solutions, but the, the standard ones we put into the digital platform, uh, that platform that help smaller customers to get standard analytics just out of the box by subscribing subscribing to, to the service. Uh, the next pillar is a, is a telco uh, open APIs. Uh, it, it's a huge integration with with almost all banks, all uh, all uh, microfinance organizations, helping them to score. Uh, potential customer to, to to score it for credit probability for fraud probability. Um, the same techniques um, also relevant not only for banks but what for details for 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 e-commerce as well. Uh, events and, and knowledge and our knowledge and models that were developed also helping to create leads for different business. For example, we can predict uh, that that customer. Uh, uh, is willing to change his device uh, in in the next uh, two three weeks. It can be it can be an elite passed uh, to to some econ and converted to to, to the sale. Uh, the next pillar is is a cloud analytics solutions. Uh, so the, the few words. So what is that? Uh, the big volume of customers, especially after after full scale invasion invasion in twenty twenty two. Uh, mitigating the risks by migrating uh, the infrastructures, the on-prem infrastructure, and the infrastructures which were hosted uh, in, in Ukraine uh, outside to the public clouds. Uh, and we we have uh, capability, we have knowledge, we have team uh, that capable to, to migrate uh, starting from simple, uh, from infrastructure uh, to, to more our, to, uh, towards uh, our competence uh, and strengths area, which is data and AI. So the the call for the data and AI capabilities is, is still strong, and every new implementation of data and AI of the data warehouse uh, is in the cloud. And we're helping our customers to assess the maturity, to define strategy, to to define uh, TCO, the future cloud solution, uh, developing blueprint for the modern analytics in the cloud, can do the migration using our resources. Providing data science best practices, which you got the building of this big, big data product portfolio, uh, and we as a telco uh, also uh, already taken decision to migrate our big big data platform to to the cloud. Uh, and now uh, this project is ongoing, and we uh, we will do it in in a very very strict uh, timeline. All the uh, all the core of the big data platform, platform we will migrate it in, in seven months, and it will be uh, finalized till the end of Q1 2024. Uh, previous cases, uh, maybe to, to understand a bit better, what, what is a big data service for, for for the for the for the B2B user, for, for the B2B client? Uh, for for one of the biggest retails, uh, they have. Uh, 
task to, to increase uh, websites, uh, website and application traffic and conversions uh, to, to, to sales. So we, we have used our, uh, our data to create uh, lookalike segments based on, based on Calco data that we have uh, and uh, to create uh, Google Ads and Facebook campaigns and achieve a significant result, the traffic uh, to the social network pages uh, were increased 12% and to website uh, 8%. Uh, for the for, for the FSI, for the banking industry, uh, it also uh, the mobility changed, the behavior of customers changed, uh, the geo geo uh, let's say concentration, geolocation of, of existing customers changed, and 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 banks uh, willing to optimize the network network of branches, network of terminals. We done we done this this project from one of the biggest banks in in Ukraine, and as a result, they moved. Uh, baiting branches and, and terminals to the new locations. And, and uh, the big number of these locations become the top, top performance. Um, and also, uh, analytics and data can influence on the, on the country's scale. <clears throat> We've done the project for, for the Kharkiv City Airport. Uh, they have task uh, to uh, evaluate opening new travel destinations. Of course, it was, it was before the work. Uh, we defined the typical travel destinations of the residents of, of the particular area of Kharkiv region, and, and they they started the new uh, the new destinations, which is simply Poland, Great Britain, launches new flights and uh, achieved uh, uh, three times more bookings uh, uh, that was initial based like plan for them. Uh, again, the self service. Application, the self service analytics for, for the customers is the key for scale, and we develop such, such product advisor, which give uh, multi channel marketing to analytics integration through API if it's needed, integration to the digital app uh, cabinets. Uh, and a uh, few more words about cloud analytics. So, we, we're delivering data management platforms to our customers, uh, providing reporting as a service. And we achieved, uh, achieved uh, huge quality uh, of, of reporting as telco. And we, we are bringing this, this knowledge, this performance of dashboards from different levels, uh, the right visualization, the right tools for that, the right governance processes for that. We're bringing this to the customers. Data modeling and AI. So utilizing all the experience that we have and helping customers to build their teams, their processes in this area. And the, 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 Next thing is uh, analytical products. We understand that uh, we cannot expand uh, over, uh, outside of Ukraine only relying on telco data, which is which is in Ukraine, and that's that's why we we built a set of products uh, which are telco data independent. Uh, it's a product in the area of of uh, price comparison. So we were using open data to help customers to compare the day prices and competitor prices also we uh, we're using analytics uh, right. modeling approach to, uh, to 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 plan revenues from from youtube publications uh, and so on and uh, we believe it's a, it, it's a huge demand for such services uh, right now and we have a solution for that and uh, yeah it is our next step use not only the telco advantage but uh, but the analytical advantage to move forward uh the general picture of the telco uh, ecosystem is much much bigger so we are we building uh, we, we are managed service provider for b2b customers uh bringing them uh, big data analytics that i mentioned before uh cloud infrastructure solution cloud infrastructure migration cyber security uh solutions for the enterprises uh, we we build the partnership with the uh, with the biggest uh, biggest hyperscalers uh, microsoft aws google uh, we build partnership with cybersecurity uh, solutions providers with uh, cellular connectivity providers uh, and bringing this as as a as a package as a bundle to our customers so it's much more than just telco services provider uh, uh, and as well we were we using uh, partnership to build uh, uh, b2c non-telco products we we already uh, bringing the 
B2C Microsoft products to our customers, uh, going going to deliver Google products, uh, uh, and 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 much much more. We want to become at, at the end as, as a end state kind of one stop shop for our customers, way where they can get uh, everything they need in the, in the in terms of the digital digital applications uh, from one head uh, from one 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 shop. In the most efficient uh, way, with the, with the best customer experience. And summarizing, what is the next horizon uh, for us, or what is the plans? So we are we are migrating our infrastructure to the cloud, uh, AWS cloud. It will help us to reach uh, better time to market, to to deliver more more competitive, more innovative product using the growing uh, growing public cloud. Uh, services like a system. <clears throat> we are focusing on utilizing uh, Gen AI capabilities uh, that will enter on, on our products and help us to build new products for our customers because uh, it, it's, a, it's a hard thing to, to uh, let's say, transform the capability of Gen AI to, to the useful tool. And we will be uh, the partner for, for our B2B clients, for clients outside of Ukraine to do that. Uh, the digital advertising sphere, uh, it's uh, it's a next big horizon for us uh, because uh, even looking uh, on after work performance, this sphere uh, recovered much faster than uh, than others, and we uh, we're building the ecosystem around that. Self service digital advertising platforms. We want to reach every uh, every small businessman uh, uh, having having. Uh, you coffee coffee shops or or other point of sales and helping them give them a simple tool to to advertise to reach a customer to reach potential customer uh products without telco data uh, like like youtube analytics helping to predict revenues that will come from from publishing this or that kind of uh, kind of uh, content and export of expertise uh, so we we are we are ready to to expand uh, with our expertise and services based on expertise outside of Ukraine. Uh, thank you very much. Um, it was uh, it was all content that, that I wanted to, uh, to share with you today. We'll be happy to, to, to answer your questions. You can see the, the contacts our our corporate uh, business website and my LinkedIn account. Uh, feel free to contact if, if you have some some Questions will be happy to share with you our experience. And one more thing Ukraine now is the most mined country in the world. Kiev started together with the Come Back Alive Foundation, launch charity project for humanitarian mining in Ukraine. Please support us, donate, support Ukraine, follow the QR on the screen. Thank you.